Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in another actual escape map with the Warden, as I really enjoyed the last one. It was so much fun to do, and I actually found this one. Once again, the link for this will be in the description, so you can download it if you want. And I did start with a command block. I don't know if that's going to be useful in the map. I don't think it will be, but I'm going to keep it anyway. And it was made by Flash Brown. The rules are no cheating, no hacking, single player only, own, open iron door to win, and stand on a skulk will make you die. So they're the rules, and once again it will be linked in the description if you do actually want to download it. So before we jump into the map, if you do enjoy this video, do leave a like and subscribe as it does really help out. And I want to know, do you guys like these maps? And if you do have a map that involves the warden that you want me to play and test out, do let me know in the comments or on Discord because I actually enjoy playing the Warden-related escape maps and stuff like that. They're so much fun. So let's start. And uh, brown padlock, red padlock, blue padlock. I heard the Warden actually spawn though. Uh, I don't know where the Warden is. I heard it spawn. I'm guessing we have to find the three different types of padlocks. I'm guessing we have to find the three different types of padlocks and I don't know can break trip wire okay there's just a load of cobwebs i don't think we're gonna need these but i'm taking them just in case because i don't want to leave them here and then we need them afterwards are there any hidden buttons i am also just gonna quickly turn down the darkness effect just so it's easier in the video once again and you can see better it's more like a blindness in this way in the rules it says you actually die by standing on the skulk so i don't want to where is the warden oh it's up there i don't know if it's meant to be up there or if that's just luck but okay you died i'm guessing i stood on skulk by mistake i didn't actually see skulk that i stood on but i'm guessing okay and we lose our inventory if we die does that mean the map reset or did we lose the map reset okay that's cool, but that could be very annoying. I didn't read the rules properly. Standing on skulk makes us die, not skulk sensors. And the reason I died is because I was trying to step on the skulk. So if we quickly go over here. Yes, as you can see, there's skulk right there. And we are in adventure mode, so we can't actually break blocks. Which is, there's rooted dirt there. I don't know if that's useful to us. Is there any way I can get up into the trees? Any ladders or anything? No. Okay. And we can't go over there because that kills us. We've learned that twice now. It seems like there's no way up on top of the houses or on top of the trees. So it seems like the only place we can go is inside of here. And there's nothing there. Is there anything hidden under the stairs? Don't look like it. Anything hidden in the toilet? It also don't look like it. But there is a trapdoor up there. Which I'll remember that's there. Is there anything in this room? A barrel that says it's safe. This barrel is locked. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm going to need a key to open that. Oh no, it's dripstone parkour. We'll go back to that parkour at a later date. Just because I'm not good at parkour. And especially... Oh, that scared me. What killed me? It's annoying that we have to actually... Is this maybe something we have to do to get to that trap door? No, I don't think so. It's annoying that every time we die, our inventory gets reset. But we're going to now try this parkour, which I done first try. And okay, that's how we get into this room, although I didn't actually get that barrel. Okay, I need to do that parkour again. But I can't see it going well. Because we obviously have to open that barrel, but you have very limited time. And it's got a melon in it. There's also a sign that says down there. I'm a complete noob. There's the bat can actually break glass. So that glass that we saw through here, we can break through using this bat. And let's not fall into the lava. But yes, there is an arrow there that says down. So maybe we need to go into the lava and there's maybe some sort of like secret entrance or something. Okay, I have made it. And I don't know why that's saying down there. I don't want to risk jumping down to it just in case it's nothing. But yes, we can break this glass with a sword. And it's unbreakable. So I'm going to break all the glass just for the fun of it. And what is in this room? An anvil? A button? That Did that button do anything? I don't think the button did. But there's nothing else in this room. Um, So I'm guessing... That button is either 
it might be doing something, but I can't hear anything. And we can break trip wire hooks with this with these shears, I believe. Yes, which I'm pretty sure that's just play string. Okay, there we go. That's that. So now if I press this button, does it do something? Okay, it cleared the anvil. And it just reset it. I'm going to try and look, see if there's anything upstairs. Because I think that's where it's going to be. Because I don't know what that anvil's about. Although there is a warden up here. So I do need to be careful that I don't actually set the warden off. Now, is there anything underneath here? The warden is coming. Is there any, like, hidden things under that? Don't look like it. There is some barrels, but I'm scared to open them because I'm pretty sure, yes, that's setting off vibrations and it don't look like there's anything in any of them. Okay, there is. There's an axolotl, a coal and a paper. You know what you have to do. do I, no, I don't. Do I? I have to do that? Oh, that just says, oh, does that mean I can now open that barrel with this piece of paper? I think that's what it means. We're now going to run. Hopefully that warden don't know we're down here. But I'm pretty sure, can I, oh, I can. Can we place on oak sign? The only other thing I can think we can do is go and check the other floors upstairs. Because we have really done everything apart from check the floors up here. And the warden's right there. Can we maybe try and trap this warden somewhere? Because that is our real problem. So maybe we could like run around and tease it somewhere. And now let's just run. I think we should now be able to get away from it. And hopefully be able to explore up here without having the warden bother us. Okay, so there's only two floors up here. And okay. Ah, the warden's right behind us. The warden is right there. I'm hoping I can sneak past him. He has just sniffed me out. But I'm hoping I can move before he... Yes, I did manage to. So let's try and like sneak this way. There is doors right there. But I quickly just want to like get up here. On top of the bed. Because I think we should then be safe. And there's nothing up here. Okay, so there's probably something in them doors. Although, I don't know. We're going to quickly just check. Anything in here? There isn't. One last thing that I think I, uh, that I can think of to do. Is there's a barrel or a chest down that's a noob in this corner there is that has a melon in it but what can a melon do it can't be placed on anything or it can't break anything i have had an idea of what we might need that melon for so we're gonna have to do this parkour again i did just die because i didn't actually grab these and i need these because what i'm thinking is maybe you have to throw the melon under the pumpkin no under the anvil that you spleef down and maybe that'll give you something okay i'm now back here with the melon so let's now see if we break through here and we can't place the melon there so if i just throw it and do that does that do anything no do we have to break ah maybe we have to break the anvil no, because it resets the anvil as well. Uh, I don't know then. I just done it and I got a blue key and three melon slices. So do I have to like do this again? Let's throw the melon slices there and press the button. Does that... No, not press the button. It's break the string. And that doesn't do anything else. Okay. So I've now got a blue key which can break a warped sign. I don't know if jumping from here to the tree as possible that might be what you have to do i have tried it a few times and i haven't succeeded so i'm not sure that might be like what you have to do but the only thing is we have to do this parkour to do that and i i keep dying to the parkour which resets everything so i don't want to keep having to do that can we see anything in the trees is that a chest it don't look like it but yeah, you have to like get right. Okay, we've done it. I've tried to get up here and I don't think you're meant to. But we haven't checked on top of the house, I think. Can you go on top of the house? You can. Uh, okay, there's a barrel right there. Is there anything else? No. Okay, we're the red key. So I think we've done it. We just need the brown key, which I'm pretty sure 
was that one we got for smelting the uh, axolotl. And just like that, the map is reset. So we now have to do it all again. I don't actually know what's the best thing to go for first. I have got the key code. One thing that would have made this map like 10 times harder. Oh, it does say brown key. Why did I think that said oak button before? I have no clue. So brown key right there. And let's now go get the others. One thing that would have made this map 10 times harder is if the warden weren't stuck upstairs as much. Currently, it's like lingering upstairs. If it actually came down a lot more and chased the player, that would have made it 10 times harder. I don't know if that's meant to be an intentional feature within the map or if that's because the warden's a bit buggy at the moment. But obviously, there we go. We've got a melon. This is also within the experimental snapshot due to that's when it, obviously this map was made. And you can't change, obviously, if it's made in the experimental snapshot, you then can't upgrade to other versions, which we've now got the blue key. And we have to just make this jump, which will then mean we have the, yes, okay, we made it, which means we'll then have the red key, which means we can leave this map. There we go. So we've got all three keys. Can we do it? Red key. There we go. Blue key. There we go. And the oak door is open. We can now leave. Okay, the exit is literally just a pressure plate that says yay. But anyway, that is the end of this map. This map was, once again, really fun. Let's go into creative mode just so we can see around the map. We did complete it, which was pretty cool. But anyway, this was a really fun map to play. Once again, it was so fun and it was a good map. It would have obviously been better if the warden would chase you more although i think that would have made it like pretty much impossible but i don't know if that's an intentional thing that the warden stays up here or if it's because of the warden's ai it can't really track the player that well but it was so fun to play and we did manage to complete it we only died 16 times and it took us 1520 seconds don't know how long that is in minutes you guys can work that out but anyway i guess i will see you guys in another video very soon thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye